Hey there guys, it's Tiny Tank Bad here, bringing you a patch 4.3 trans modification video where I show you where you can get some weapon and armor for the new expansion to help you kill Deathwing. And today we're going to be visiting the Akadani Crypts, Molt and Core, and the uh, Mana Tombs. Oh, and by the way, my name is no longer uh, Assistant Professor Road, it is Tiny Tank Man. I've had a change since then. Alright, and here you see me fly down into Molten Core and talk to Lothos Riftwalker. But actually, I don't talk to Lothos Riftwalker because most people won't tell you this. But the old way to get into Molten Core is not actually talking to him. It is jumping through the window right there, as you'll see me do right there. Yes. Alright, now once immediately in Molten Core, you will see a, a couple of enemies. The Molten Giants and the Molten Destroyers. And the Molten Destroyers have a random chance to spawn anywhere the Molten Giants are. But you don't want to kill the Molten Giants as they don't drop any really good loot unless you're trying to get your bond equip epics. But anyways, the Molten Destroyers, now they drop the really good loot. They drop the Blood of the Mountain, which is needed to make the Legendary Sword, the Thunder Fury, the Blessed Blade of the Windseeker, and the Sulfurous Hand of Ragnaros. Now these are both sought after items due to their uh, bragging rights, and relatively easy to solo these instances with. But anyways, on to the Molten Destroyers. You can sell these uh, Blood of the Balance for generally a very high price, depending on your server's capacity, that is. And here they are. And here you see me fade into the Akadani Crypts, where I kill Dark Weaver Sith, and he drops a very nice pair of male boots that work just about well with any elemental shaman or maybe even a hunter. And then, I do believe we move on to the Mana Tombs after this. The Nexus Prince Shafar is who I kill right out here, and he drops a very interesting looking axe and a very interesting looking uh, mace. The mace I always thought looks sort of like a guitar when it's sheathed on your back, whereas the axe kind of looks like a spider. And you can see it right here. And the mace when worn on your back does look a great deal like a guitar, you'd be a desperado. Anyways. And after I get all this looting done, we're to conclude to a final shot of Molten Core where I kill Golemeg. And he drops a pretty nice set of items if I do say so myself, and uh, you're about to see that here as soon as I get done looting all these bodies. And here you see me killing Golemeg, the Incinerator, and he drops a very nice one-handed sword called the Azura Song Mage Blade. And I'd probably use this to be Transmog Fight, even though it shares a predilection towards mages. And he also he also dropped a nice rogue leather chess piece which belongs to a set. And I'm sure you can make it work with just about anything, it looks very versatile. He also dropped a very nice uh, hunter chess piece too, that is also part of a set. And I'm sure you can make any of these work. And thanks so much for watching, I'll be back with more World of Warcraft and probably Call of Duty videos. So if you'd like to, please stay tuned, comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching, bye.